Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock, and this is week four of Advent. So we are celebrating God's love, and I'm doing my final background tutorial. I used my Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook to practice, and I came up with two ways of doing holly leaves. And the first one that I did here, this green one, wasn't as interesting as the other one. I think there's more uses for the other, but I used the same template and just did some painting around them with negative painting. And you can look up what negative painting is, or I'll do a tutorial similar to that sometime. But I want to show you this technique. And I'm using the wonders of his love. And the, the song lyrics all season long have really been speaking to me. So that's what I'm really focusing on in this particular page that I wanted to journal in my Bible. I've got all my lettering worked out there. And I'm using Psalm 136 all throughout the psalm. It has all kinds of things about his love enduring forever. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. So to make a holly leaf, draw a line down the middle and then make two points on the end. You can make kind of curvy points. And then I pick kind of a spot in the middle and make the, the two sides of it and make them about even. They don't have to be exactly even. But if you draw it out like this, then you can use some scissors to cut a few pieces of cardstock down to make some holly leaves. And you can use holly leaves for all different kinds of things, but we're going to use it for a Bible journaling sort of reverse stencil, a negative stencil, uh, in the opposite way that you normally would be using stencils. And I'm using my Inktense pencils. These are watercolor pencils, so you can do this with a watercolor pencil of any kind, but Inktense pencils are actually ink rather than watercolor, so they're going to not lift as much. Uh, they lift a little bit, but they won't lift as badly once they're, they're wet and then dried. So I've scribbled the color on and I've used a couple different greens so I can get some really interesting color combinations and then used a baby wipe to move the color onto my page and it leaves a negative shape as the clear shape on there. Isn't that cool? And I just kept doing it with the different leaves. You can use both sides of the leaves. Once it's already been used, then it's hard until it dries to put more color on it and use the technique again. But if you were tidier with your coloring, you could also color these and then use these leaves as decoration as well, or glue them in your Bible or do other craft things with them. But I was only going to be using them for this technique, so I wasn't too worried about what my scribbling looked like. But I'm layering different greens on top of each other and different colors on top of each other. And I thought that would be a really interesting way. It worked better in my Bible than it did on my Bible journaling made simple workbook, but the idea came across. And that's where I find that I'm using the workbook a lot is in developing the ideas, trying something out, seeing if it works. And I don't have to get it to work perfectly in there to know that it's going to work pretty nicely in my Bible. Something like this, you can do small leaves, you can do big leaves in the springtime, you can do flowers, you can do hearts, all different kinds of shapes that you can use to make a beautiful background for your Bible journaling. And then all you have to do is your lettering. You can do fancy lettering like I am going to be doing, or you could just journal. And a lot of people get all worried and, and upset because they can't do fancy lettering. But really, just journal. Just talk to God. Speak to him about what he's spoken to you in the scriptures and give him the glory through that. Bible journaling is all about your adventure with Jesus. It's not about how beautiful that text looks. So if you just have a column that is a letter to God, that is perfectly fine. So I ironed it between two sheets of paper, and look how beautiful it came out. I spent quite a bit of time on my lettering, and I didn't include that in here because you don't want to see the hot mess that my lettering is when I'm working on it. But there you go. You prove the glories of your righteousness and wonders, wonders of your love. And here's that other page if you wanted to try doing something with some paint as well. Then you can figure out how to do the negative painting. You can certainly adapt that kind of an idea. 
So that is about it for this week. I will see you again next week for another Bible journaling video. In the meantime, have a merry, merry Christmas. Have a blessed time with your friends and family. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.